Today we're driving the 2021 Toyota Prius. And to celebrate 20 years of the Prius being in the United States, Toyota has come out with a 2020 edition, because that's the year we all want to remember. <laughs> but it's been 20 years, and this 21 model year Prius comes out with a special edition that has a few extras. Uh, let's walk you around it, show you around this new Prius, and um, take it for a drive. I've always liked the Prius. I like driving purpose-built vehicles, and this is definitely a purpose-built built vehicle. 52 miles to the gallon combined. This 2020 edition is based on the front-wheel drive XLE Prius, so pretty much the same options, features, just has some fancy paint, some blacked-out stuff, and these nice 17-inch wheels. It comes in around $30,000. For the 2020 edition, we get blacked-out headlights, these black 17-inch alloy wheels, black hybrid badging, mirror caps, and a color-matched deck lid spoiler. All subtle changes to this Prius. They did update the styling about a year ago and they added the all-wheel drive version. Still kind of a controversial looking car, but again, it does what it needs to do very well. It's very practical, it's very fuel efficient, incredibly reliable, some of the most reliable cars on the road in the last 20 years. And look at all the space in the back. You've got so much room for activities to put things. These rear seats fold down very easily, giving you a lot of space in this hatchback design. Underneath here, you've got a very cool storage solution for your deck lid cover. And uh, there's a spare tire hidden somewhere under there too. This is powered by the 1.8 liter four cylinder engine from Toyota. Very smooth, very quiet. It makes 121 horsepower combined with a hybrid system. Not super fast, but I think probably quick enough for most people's needs. We've got a very spacious back seat, a couple of 2.1 amp USB type A ports, and just a nice seating arrangement back here. Very, very spacious, very comfortable. And of course the signature Toyota Prius dashboard up front. Um, kind of funky looking, but it always has been. Very functional, lots of user-friendly buttons and controls. No weirdness here with regards to that. Nothing's hidden in the touchscreen, which I like. The last Prius we drove was the all-wheel drive one out in Utah at a Toyota event last year. And uh, that was a pretty good option. A little bit heavier than this one, but this front-wheel drive Prius, I think, gets the job done. Unfortunately, the Prius isn't selling as well as it used to. Toyota has so many hybrid offerings in their lineup that were all kind of stemmed and inspired by this original Prius. A lot of similar powertrains and hybrid systems are being put into the RAV4, the Camry, the Avalon, the Venza, etc., etc. This 1.8 liter four cylinder takes 0W16 oil. <laughs> Super thin. Um, a great hybrid powertrain, like I said earlier. Very reliable. Nice lightweight hood too. Not much to talk about up front. We've got physical controls for just about everything. Uh, all very well laid out. I love this cruise control stock. Heated steering wheel, lane keep assist, distance control for uh, adaptive cruise. Here's your gear selector. It takes a little bit of getting used to if you've never used it, but once you do use it, it actually works pretty well. You've got Apple CarPlay, your standard Toyota infotainment, uh, showing you your fuel economy, your audio, uh, pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Apple CarPlay Android Auto compatibility, no wireless, uh, but you do get wireless charging down there as well as seat heaters, a couple of cup holders, and a couple more charge ports and other things in there. You've got this screen up here that shows you all of your fuel economy, your speed, your trip meter, all of your headlamp settings, what's turned on, what's turned off. It is kind of weird getting used to everything being over slightly to the right, but you get used to it pretty much immediately as soon as you start driving this car. We have physical controls, knobs, and buttons for our HVAC. You have an eco, heat, and cool mode, which seems to do the job for most scenarios. And um, this is the only thing I don't like about the Prius, and it annoys the heck out of me. There is a way to turn it off. It's this. The incessant beeping whenever you put it in reverse. And then when you approach something, it beeps even more. 
it's too much. It's too much beeping. Uh, supposedly there's a way you can turn it off with an OBD port or uh, with a bunch of buttons or maybe the dealer can switch it off for you. So that is an option, not a complete deal breaker because you can disable that, but uh, uh, just driving me nuts this week because I'm always backing out of my driveway. <laughs> Otherwise, this thing's pretty good to drive. Let's take it on the road and see what it's like behind the wheel. My favorite thing about this car is that you can drive it everywhere flat out and still get about 50 miles to the gallon no matter what you do with your right foot. Um, it's kind of fun in that respect. It's, it's cool to be able to just get great fuel economy no matter how you treat a car. And that's kind of how I've been driving this this week. You can see on the trip meter, uh, with my heavy foot, I've averaged about 49 miles to the gallon. And uh, that's not hypermiling at all. If anything, that's trying the opposite of hypermiling. So I've been having some fun in this thing. I've been driving it spiritedly, and still we're almost at 50 mpg, which is pretty cool. If I were hypermiling, it would probably be over 52 or 53 mpg. Um, we have nice, light steering great ride quality, pretty good driving dynamics. Really the only thing that's lacking here is a lot of power. It's pretty immediate though, the eCVT works quite well to give you instant torque and instant power. It's not super fast, but the handling is quite good. The low center of gravity helps with that. It's nicely balanced. It's lightweight, only about 3,000 pounds. Uh, curb weight from this Prius, which is pretty impressive. All the new electric cars and hybrids that are out there are getting pretty heavy, and this keeps the weight down, and it's fun to drive because of that. So, I don't know, I, the first time I ever drove this new generation Prius in 2016 was, I think it was in California, and it was on some just killer back roads, and we were bombing through at a good rate of speed, getting 55 miles to the gallon the whole time, and it was fun. It was enjoyable on a back road. It hustled. And uh, ever since then, I've really enjoyed driving this latest generation of Prius. Now, I get it. The Prius is not cool. It never has been. It never will be. But uh, I've always liked driving them. I don't know if I'd own one. But in the current electric car hybrid landscape, this is still incredible value. And, they, and really all they're lacking is some power and ground clearance compared to all the other crossovers and SUVs out there. Um, and you know, it's still just, it's got the Prius nameplate. But to drive, it's uh, one of the better Toyotas, I think, on the market. It feels really solid, incredibly well built. There's a level of quality here that you only see in a handful of Toyota's built in their Japan factories. It, it just feels nice. It feels really well engineered and like it's just going to last forever. And it probably will. Even at wide open throttle, the engine doesn't feel terribly stressed, which is good. On these 17 inch wheels, there is a little bit more NVH and intrusion into the cabin from large potholes and bumps, especially when accelerating and braking. Uh, otherwise though, I really like this thing. It's fun. It's been good to drive this week. Um, that's kind of my dirty little secret is I, I like a Toyota Prius. <laughs> and uh, yeah, until you drive one, until you spend some time in one, it's hard to appreciate it. But uh, yeah, you've got a couple different drive modes. They don't really do much. There's eco mode, there's normal mode, there's power mode, which gives you really instant torque and throttle response, but they all kind of feel about the same at the end of the day. Um, this is a slightly more dated car at this point. We have some updated powertrains from Toyota. We have a little bit more power from the batteries and the electric motors, um, but this can still hold its own and cruise at a reasonable speed in full EV mode if you're careful with your right foot applications of the throttle pedal. I've been cruising 45, 50 miles an hour, maintaining my speed this week in full EV. Uh, there's not quite enough energy from the battery pack to get you up to speed at a reasonable rate uh, in EV mode, but that's okay. That's kind of how it's always been. And like I said, no matter how you drive this thing, you're gonna still get close to 50 miles to the gallon in your Prius. It's 
pretty cool, pretty impressive. There are a lot of other hybrid options out there from Toyota, but for some reason the Prius has always just felt like one of the best built, best calibrated, and nicest to drive. Um, there's also the Corolla Hybrid, which shares the exact same powertrain as this, um, maybe with a couple differences. I haven't driven that, but still, this Prius has stood the test of time, and it continues to impress after all these years behind the wheel. So, anyway, guys, I think that's kind of all I've got to say about this Prius. We can do a quick sound system test of this base audio system and uh, wrap things up there. Decent audio system too, sounds great. And you win every drag race because no one expects that a Prius is going to accelerate quickly from a light. This week I've I've beaten Challengers, a couple Mustangs, and they had no idea we were racing. All right, guys. Well, those are my thoughts on the new Prius 20th Anniversary Edition. Um, the formula still works. I think this is still a really solid buy if you want something that's fuel efficient, got incredible fuel range. You can easily get four or 500 miles, maybe even more out of a tank of gas in this thing. And with a lot of vehicles getting smaller and smaller fuel tanks, that is really nice to not have to fill up. I've been driving this all week and I've only burned through less than half a tank. Uh, I've probably done about 300 miles in this thing. So easily, I think you could eke out 600 miles from a tank of gas in a Prius. And there's something to be said about that. And for the price, around or under $30,000, it's hard to beat in today's market where so many vehicles are, especially with this type of fuel economy, are up and above that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. That's our video on the 20th anniversary Toyota Prius. Stay tuned for more. You can follow me on Instagram at thetofer2. I'll see you guys in the next video.